Hi, my name is Natalia. I'm a certified nurse midwife at North Shore Health Centers, and you're watching Ask the Expert. Today, we're gonna talk about breastfeeding. August is breastfeeding month, and we're gonna talk about some basics. Breastfeeding is the easiest, most nutritious um, form of feeding your baby. Uh, breast milk changes during pregnancy and after your baby is born. After your baby is born, on the first three to four days, you're first gonna experience a very yellow, thick colostrum. Colostrum is what we call the newborn milk. It's full of nutritious and good cells that help fight infections. Those cells help your baby growth and help you and your baby to bond. It protects against all the infections that your body already fought and create antibodies for it. Those um, milk change, and after your baby is a week old, you're gonna experience a more liquidy, white in color milk. That is the mature milk. That milk also change with your newborn needs, and it can increase and decrease in volume depending on your newborn demands. Your breast sometimes feels fuller than normal. That is a sensation called engorgement. If that happens to you, what you can do is try to use some warm or cold compressions. You can also feed your newborn on demand. In case of infection, you're gonna feel fever and have some redness on your breast. If that happens, ask your provider what you can do for it. They will normally prescribe you some antibiotics. Breastfeeding has very good benefits for moms and babies. For moms, it decreases your risk of having breast cancer, also ovarian cancer, hypertension, and diabetes. Those are some good reasons to try to breastfeed your newborn. For babies, it protects the immune system. It's also easier since you don't have to be mixing bottles during the night. It also protects newborns against infections and increase bonding between mom and newborn. Also protects against SIDS, what can cause death in infants. Another benefit for breastfeeding is that it's free. A lot of first time moms have problems or difficulty in breastfeeding. If that happens to you, contact your provider so we can connect you to best resources in your areas. I know for first time moms, it's very difficult sometimes to tell when your newborn is hungry. Crying is a late sign of hunger. If your newborn is crying, is harder for the newborn to latch and that can cause stress on the mom and baby. To prevent that, try to identify your newborn's early hunger signs. That can be smacking, licking your lips, bringing the hands to the mouth. If your newborn show any of those signs, put the newborn to the breast and try to breastfeed. That can prevent stress, crying, and increase the chances of a good latch. If you experience pain during latching, Try to observe your newborn when they latch to the breast. They should latch more than just the nipple and around the areola. The areola is the dark part of the breast. If the newborn is having a good latch, that prevents trauma to the breast and pain. And not sure, we are here to help you. If you have any problems during or after birth or with breastfeeding, ask your provider so we can connect you to the best resources in your area. We wish you and your newborn a happy latching. And for more information, visit northshorehealth.org.